So let's talk in more details about the websites that have been created on your platform. Listed below are all the websites that people have created on your platform. You can see them listed from top to bottom uh, and by clicking on the name you can preview the website. Each website has indication, in this case green is active, red is an expired website and gray is the uh, trial. You can see that they created the website name and the plan they are currently on as well as all the websites that have been created on your platform. To edit each website click on the pencil icon and you'll see the information and the control panel uh, for each website as well as uh, last billing date next billing date and the uh, subscription plan. If you click on change there is this message where it says that this website is currently active by a subscription. Uh, if you desire to change uh, the plan for this website uh, you need to proceed with caution and go to uh, click on edit website, go to settings and billing to change the plan uh, within the builder. Now let's find a website that is actually in trial. Click on the pencil icon and you'll see that they don't have a last or next billing date obviously. By clicking on the drop down you'll see all the plans that you currently can select. Uh, let's pick personal monthly and click apply. A message will show uh, that this will be the amount uh, that we are going to charge you uh, in your weekly cycle, this amount, this payment will be added to your payments uh, section. Keep in mind that monthly fees are not refundable and yearly fees uh, are refundable only within 14 days. After that, they're also non-refundable. Once you click on yes, your website becomes active with last billing date today and next billing date a month from now. Uh, change it to expired by clicking on expired, apply and it's already uh, expired uh, website. You can edit the website by clicking on edit and you will go to the builder and you can change absolutely anything the website of your customer. These are the website settings, they're super easy to use and if you have any questions you can use the live chat anytime.